Now, growing up as a kid, I used to watch a show called The Jetsons, a futuristic family whose environment was surrounded by flying cars, robot butlers, and other futuristic tech. Produced in 1962, the show itself took place in 2062, with the show's creators obviously thinking by 2062, we'd have flying cars. And it seems by then we actually might. Interesting stuff, guys. Buckle up, because we're going to go on a wild ride, or should I say flight, sit down in from overload. <laughs> Smash that like button or else you won't ever get to fly in a car, and let's go. So pretty exciting news out in the world of science and tech, or should I say science and tech. We got flying cars. No cure for cancer, but we got flying cars. I'm not going down that road. All right, so the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, has officially approved a hybrid car plane type vehicle that of course can drive like a regular car, but could also take off and reach up to 100 miles per hour in the air. It's pretty cool. It's really ugly, but at least it could do cool things. The Terrafugia transition is what it's being called, and the flying car got what's called a special light sport aircraft airworthiness certificate from the agency, which means it can now legally take flight. As of now, a flight only version of the hybrid car plane is available to pilots and flight schools. The company behind the operation still needs time for the vehicle to meet road safety standards, so it likely will be road ready for at least another year. But the company is hoping to have everything ready to go by 2022, which means their two seat hybrid vehicle will be available for all to use. Well, everyone who has a driver's license and a sports pilot license. You guys have both those, don't you? Sports pilot license. I got it when I was like 16. The clean, or should I call it a plar, my two new made up words for this invention, is able to convert from plane to car or car to plane in less than a minute with takeoff and landing being at either small airports or highways. Imagine that. Just a, a, a plane coming down and turning into a car on the highway. It's pretty cool. The Chinese owned company has been trying to produce this thing for quite some time with promises it would be for sale back in 2015, then 2018, then 2019, and now 2022. But give them a break, guys. I mean, they're making a flying car. Like, what are we doing, you know? All right, so how does this bad boy work? Well, for starters, it'll fit in your one car garage because its wings, which span across 27 feet when fully extended, actually fold in. So that's pretty awesome. And now for the more technical stuff that, although I can barely pronounce, I also have no idea what any of it means. It's rocking a one 100 HP Rotax 912 IS sport fueled injected engine, which I don't know about you guys, but to me that sounds more powerful than a V8 engine. So there's that. It can reach a max speed of 100 miles per hour in the air, altitudes of up to 10,000 feet, and it can reach a distance of about 400 miles. So this thing could really change the way we travel for good. The plane itself, of course, uses gasoline, either premium gas or plane fuel, while the car aspect has a hybrid electric motor, so it runs on energy. It also has four wheel hydraulic disc brakes, which you know is good for stopping. Aside from this, it also includes a rigid car fiber safety cage and an airframe parachute, which ensures a safe ride at all times, even in the worst case scenario. Now, as previously mentioned, this is expected to be used by everyday people who apparently have a one car garage. Their whole thing is that unlike Uber, BMW, Kitty Hawk, and these other companies making flying car prototypes, is that those require commercial airspace, this thing won't. And it only costs 400,000 bucks, guys. It's perfect for your one car garage. And for those of you guys missing out on the joke, I think if you could afford to spend $400,000 on something like this, you should probably just invest in a property, like a larger property, property first with a bigger garage. It's just my thoughts though. <laughs> just to clarify, my house has a one car garage, which is why I'm not buying this $400,000 car plane thing. <laughs> and by my house, my parents' house. Aside from this two seating bad boy, the company is also working on other prototypes, such as the four seater TFX, which is also hybrid electric and has vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. Sources claim this car would also be semi-autonomous, whereas the driver would just need to enter a destination and the plar or a plane, not sure which name is gonna stick, will take you to said destination. It's also believed these things will be able to detect things such as bad weather, traffic, and restricted airspace, obviously avoiding all those things. Now, when speaking on the troubles the company has due to the craziness that 2020 was, Terrafugia general manager Kevin Colburn couldn't be more proud of his team, explaining, I quote, our team remained focused, improved our quality system, completed the critical aspects of the design, built the vehicle, completed 80 days of flight testing, delivered 150 technical documents, and successfully passed the FAA audit. This is a major accomplishment that builds momentum in executing our mission to deliver the world's first practical flying car. boy, Kev, we're all rooting for you and the team. It's not just you, Kevin. Come on, don't take all the credit. So there you guys have it. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a plar. I don't think we gotta drop that, guys. It really doesn't have a ring to it like I thought it would. As always, guys, let me know your thoughts on this one down below. Would you feel comfortable taking a hybrid car plane type thing? And are you guys gonna call it a clane or a plar? Let me know. I don't think I would be comfortable in it because I got a fear of heights and I don't think I'm ever gonna say those words ever again just because they sound kind of weird. Either way, guys, for now, let's spot some comments from last week's roundup. TikTok, a really glue disaster. Some about Justin Timberlake and then some other people, but I just include the first part of the title. You guys know what video I'm talking about. 
It's the long one, the roundup. Empress Ray said, do something stupid, you get verified on social media, and a free procedure. I'm about to shove duct tape down my throat and see what happens. <laughs> okay, first let me say, do not do that. I do not advise any of you guys do that. Don't do something in hopes of going viral and just getting verified, because I can tell you guys right now, just like that kid Damn Daniel, just like half these people that have gone viral for like 10, 15 minutes, you forget who they are and they don't have a career after that. I'm not even trying to insult them, it's just like very rarely does it ever lead to anything. So don't do that. Don't put yourself in harm's way just to get clout. Sep Ju said, I'm gonna drink Elmer's glue now because I ran out of milk. I hope people raise funds for me after. Again, I don't recommend this. I think I just include these comments because they were very funny. Like some of the comments you guys made were great, but do not do anything just for clout, guys. I, I ask you, please don't because uh, it's not worth it. Cats over Brat said, I want RuPaul to appear in front of Jared and say, can I get a science up in here? I'll be honest, I didn't fully understand the joke, but I'm for it, so let's do it. Let's get some science up in here. Let's get some science up in here. All right, guys, that's all for this one. I got, uh, I think, too much testosterone now and I gotta go work out or something. So that's all for this one, guys. I've been your host, Jared Bronson. We'll see you guys soon. Oh, 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 oh